they want to save the art form but they don't want to save the artist what is this attitude they are talking about that they have to save the culture they have to save save the old treaties old everything by by i say that save the artist art form will be saved save the people who are who are doing don't don't just remember the old people who have, who have passed on their their legacies to to people like us you want to acknowledge that we are them ourselves acknowledging those things on tuesday when the 90 year old odissi dancer guru mayadhar rao who was awarded with the padam shri in 2010 was evicted from his house in the asian games complex village in south delhi photos of his padam shri lying on the road have gone viral all over the internet the union ministry of housing and urban affairs has given time until monday to padam shri winner bharti shivaji dance legend briju maharaj who died in january painter jatin das and classical singer wasifuddin dagar in the asian games complex in south delhi to vacate their government allotted accommodations in 2014 the government stopped renewing the three year terms on which many eminent artists were allotted government accommodations under the guideline issued by the ministry of housing and urban affairs in 1985 The accommodations were given to them under the eminent artist category on the basis of a decision taken by the cabinet committee on accommodation. However, the government has announced 2nd of May as the last day for all of these artists to leave the government accommodation. Vidabrat Rao, son of Guru Jayaram Rao and Vanashri Rao had come to visit their house in the Asian Games village one last time. i have lots so many memories there and um you know i i just remember feeling sad that um me and dad uh, used to light candles and put them across our balcony every diwali it's the only thing we, we don't burst firecrackers or <clears throat> go out very much but that was one little thing we did every diwali and just like that there are so many memories in that house you know uh, all the good things happened to my parents after that house and my father came to delhi to promote a south indian classical dance form in north india uh he was one of the first gurus of kuchipudi in delhi and he came in 69 they don't want their art form to die and that's their concern today and while i won't say the word to be used is attacked there is a sense of what kind of precedence this sets for the future of this art form and the future of artists who choose to take this path while kathak exponent gitanjali lal had already vacated her house a musical instrument can be seen in the veranda of her house i don't know we are not even handful like uh, like means what uh, how they have treated the farmers so we are not even handful to fight and we were never willing to fight with the government of course we don't want but nobody met nobody was willing to meet at all it begs to question what the value of these recognitions of the padma awards are um what is the value of all the years of service and dedication and commitment and discipline they have given to their art form and you got to support the process for an artist you can't support the end goal or objective for example it's not that one performance that you are supporting an art- artist with it's not a sponsorship the guru shishya parampara within the artist community is still alive and wasifuddin dagar is now shifting to gurgaon i'm thankful to my students they have come forward so here we we really acknowledge the 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 system of guru shishya parampara how how they have come forward their parents have come forward to to you know to be little, little support so of course i'm going to to gurgaon for a for a few for a while i don't know what what that while will be under the new government's policy up to 40 artists who earn less than 20000 per month are eligible for the government allotted residence under a special quota of the general pool of residential accommodation for the print this is jeeti agarwal reporting